What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wiz back again with another video. Woke up in a vlogging mood, so I'm gonna go ahead and vlog my day. And as you can see off the jump, the beard is back, man. Your boy got his first haircut since quarantine. I bought the beard back, so feeling good. The beard is back, your boy is back. Gonna go ahead and go through my day and show you what I do. So first things first, I know it's been a long time since I've hopped on the scale, so got a new scale well it's not really new but i've never shown this scale on this channel so i'm gonna go ahead and get on the scale and show you what i'm weighing these days i know this hasn't been much of a fitness channel but I'm gonna show you what i'm weighing these days taking my uh take into account that the uh i'm gonna be holding the camera the camera is about like a pound or two so uh, i'm gonna do this live right now let's go boom so i don't know if you can see that so it's about 223.2, which means that I'm at about 221. Um, my workout regimen since about mid to late March has been doo doo. I probably even I probably haven't even worked out 20 times. Um, been trying to get it how I live. The outdoor fitness just really ain't for me. Uh, I did, however, you know, try to do it a little bit. I've been doing more cardio than anything. So as you can see, the gains. What gains? The gains aren't there. I mean, this is first thing in the morning, by the way, but I'm looking flat, but uh, I have nothing to, uh, you know, counterbalance me being flat because my muscle tone is pretty much gone, man. Look at this, the abs. Whoop, your boy is fat too, so. Yeah, man, this time last year, I was prepping for a show, and right now, I look like just an average Joe, so. Yeah. Got some work to do, man. The world is looking like it's going to open up soon. Hopefully, if things don't spike back up. So, I'm trying to get more into the swing of things as far as some form of fitness. Got to start doing some body weight. They took the uh, wrappers off the playground out there. So, at least I can get in some pull-ups and some dips. Still got my resistance bands. I'm actually going to be going to FedEx Field in a minute to work out with my wife because... That's what we do. Well, that's what she do. She's honestly been on it, um, you know, for the last like four or five weeks or so. Me, on the other hand, nah, but let's get it. We working. I start today. No excuses. I don't have no meals to show this morning because I'm actually going to be working out fasted just off my green. So about to go ahead and scoop out of the crib. So roll with me. All right, so we're actually on a bit of a mission before I get uh, to work out. Uh, as you see, my battery and my brake light are on, which means my alternator isn't doing too good. So, uh, yeah, what can you expect when you got a car with uh, 182,000 miles? So it's been about 45 minutes since that last clip, and as you can see, I'm still in the same spot in the garage because uh, my car died out. Like I said, my alternator is bad. So if my alternator is bad, that means that my battery is not getting charged, which is why my car started up and then it died. But it's okay, man. In life, sometimes you got to make adjustments. You got to call that audible and keep it moving. So we're waiting for Geico to come save our lives and tow us to the repair shop so we can continue on with this day. I told you I was going to vlog and I was going to show you my day. This is part of my day, man. It ain't pretty, but it's life. Know that. Well, she's up there, so time to go and embark on this journey, see where our day takes us. Let's get it. And we made it to the repair shop. So I finally made it to FedEx Field, man. My wife saved my life. She doesn't want to be seen, but I'm um, about to go ahead and walk. I actually left my resistance bands in my vehicle, man. So there's going to be no resistance training today. I'm going to go out here, see how many miles I can run, walk, just do a little bit of cardio. And yeah, man, bring some winning energy to this losing, losing place. So, yeah. Just finished up at FedEx Field, as you can see. Six miles of walking, man. About 18 minutes average pace, 536 calories. Who knows if that's accurate, but six miles of walking, man. I'm going to end that live. Boom. You can't hear it. Actually, you can't hear it. Eight minutes, 22 seconds. So cardio is pretty much 
what my workouts are consistent of nowadays. Now it's time to go eat, baby. Post workout meal, baby. <clears throat> All right, so now that I'm done eating my post workout meal, let's go back to the auto center to see how the car is doing. And there she is. All finished. And let's see if she starts up. All right, moment of truth. Let's get it. Boom. Back in business, baby. All right, man. So we're finally back in the crib. I know I already was in the mirror earlier in this video, but I really wanted to just take my shirt off and show you an actual real physique update of how I'm looking and just show you how I went from a OCB men's physique champion to pretty much a fitness flop <laughs> and out of shape. So you've heard me say it over and over again. Ever since the gym's closed, I never really like grasped hold of like a tight routine. You know what I'm saying? On the regular working out, on the regular, like I said, try the outside thing, did it here and there. I just couldn't really get in a good like routine with it. And as you can see, man, your boy took a toll. Um, I still got a little bit of mass, I guess, fat, but shoulders are gone, biceps are gone. I mean, I'm not like totally, totally, totally messed up, but as you can see, there are no more abs. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a problem. So I'm to the point where like, no matter how much I try to say, you know, I was more productive without fitness and you know what I'm saying? Which I was, but however, for me, I feel like I don't have to fake the funk no matter what I do, no matter what I try to do, you know, other than working out always gravitate back to fitness. That's why I like I can, you know, sit here confident, get on YouTube and show off my, well not show off, but you know, show my body and how I'm really looking. Cause at the end of the day, you know, it's clockwork for me. If I put in the time, I know that I'm gonna uh, pretty much get whatever result it is that, you know, I desire, whether it's cutting, whether it's bulking, um, pretty much how I got like this, obviously from not working out on the regular, and just, you know, back when the gyms were closing, I was actually in a bulk. It was kind of dirty bulking a little bit, so, you know, I had plans to just try to put on masks and cut down. But, you know, once the gyms closed, it was just like, damn, how, how am I going to do that? So I kind of just kept eating, working out here and there, eating, doing what I wanted to do, which, you know, I'm enjoying life, like I've been saying. But, you know, at the end of the day, the world's about to open up now. It's summertime and your boy is not ready. So I'm gonna start posting more fitness content, man. I feel like um, not just to do it, I feel like I actually really, I'm in the mood for it. And I feel like when I post content, you know, like showing myself like how I look right now, it holds me accountable to, you know, keep pushing, keep going. And, you know, I like sharing my results. I like, you know, losing weight, seeing the scale, uh, the number on the scale go down. But not only that, just really just losing fat. I want to see the six pack again. Obviously, there is going to be no competing this year. Um, there's no way I'm going to be in, in competition shape. I haven't even looked at the competition schedule. I really have no desire to compete. Um, the make strides in other areas that I kind of had to ignore last year because last year was about competing. So I'm going to say 2020, not really as a loss, which just says like just a, a different type of year, you know, different experiences. I am, however, I'm going to get lean. Before this year is out, I want to do it as soon as possible because I want to start a bulk in the fall, you know, in preparation for contest um, season 2020. So, I'm sorry, 2021. So, look out for that. Um, like I said, I'm going to be dropping more fitness videos. Going to be cutting. Then we're going to be bulking. <clears throat> going to be competing in multiple shows next year. So, stay tuned. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, as always, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I don't know if somebody shot at my channel out or something, but I've got like 10 subscribers today. So if you're new, if you enjoy the vibes that I'm giving off, go ahead and join the crew. Go ahead and subscribe for yourself to my channel so you can see me through my cutting journey onto my preparation for my 2021 contest prep. And until my next video, I'm going to catch you guys later on. Peace out, baby.